Kennedy. Thank you very much. Hey, give it up for the band. Hey, here's how you solve the racial problem. Talk to each other. Thank you. <laughs> no, you know, you talk to people and, you know, you talk to them. And you might say some painful things, but that's how you get the ball rolling, right? Like, you could say, like, hey, white man, <laughs> how come you're so tense and afraid? Then he could say, hey, black man, how'd you get into my apartment? You know what I mean? <laughs> then the healing begins. <laughs> all right. I'm all for the healing, ladies and gentlemen. We got to heal each other, you know, because it's changing, man. You know, it's all changing. All, the whole racial demographic is changing, man. They said in like 50 years, there will be more Latinos and Asians than white folks in America, which means one of two things. Either people are going to have to learn how to live together, or the Klan is going to have to relax its admission standards. <laughs> <laughs> With this flame, we light the cross. That will shine as a beacon and a testament to the everlasting preservation of the white race. Pedro, Ling Tao, would you do the honors? <laughs> Thanks to your help this year, our Q Klux Ch Klan chapter has added over 300 new members. Fortunately, only 27 of them were white. not going to have enough manpower to go around hating everybody, so we're going to have to count on you to hate yourself. <laughs> you know, I feel good. You know what I'm saying? 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 You hear me, brother, say, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Brothers will say that a million times. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Won't even have a sentence. Hey, Dwayne, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Look, brother, why don't you just say what you mean, and perhaps I'll know what you're saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ever, and especially, you ever listen to, like, the young brothers coming up, like the hip-hop nation, eight, nine, ten years old? They can talk to you all day and you won't understand shit. <laughs> like, brother like me, straight up on the real. Oh, one, I'm breaking my thumb. Proper like, and I step in the face. You gonna kick the mad flame when I fall off the flag. It's gonna be hard, you know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> I don't have a clue, but good luck in prison. <laughs> I got to get back, man. I got to go back. I'm, I'm uh, from Chicago. I don't know if anybody else is, but uh, I like it there. Yeah. Summertime in Chicago is beautiful. Only thing I hate about summer in Chicago, white folks with tans. <laughs> hey, I'm almost as dark as you. <laughs> See me in October. <laughs> Although that's not really true, because white folks got tanning boots, right? right? They can stay dark all year round, right? I wish they had that for black people, man. You know, like whitening boots, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> you know, just go in, get a little whiter, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, uh, turn it up to 12, I'm trying to get a job. <laughs> you know. Matter of fact, hey, turn it up to 20, I want to be supervisor. <laughs> I don't have to get rich from this show, you know what I mean? All I need is to make enough money to get me a pistol. <laughs> I'll take it from there. 
Right? That's the American dream. All you need is hope and a pistol. <laughs> That's what made this country great, because I ain't got no money. You know, I'm done participating in the system for a while. Uh, Christmas is over for me. I tried to go Christmas shopping last year. I didn't have no money. Just went window shopping <laughs> with a brick. <laughs> you can get a lot of shit with a brick. <laughs> a brick is better than credit cards, really. I would do commercials for a brick. <laughs> do you know me? I ain't think so. That's why I carry this. <laughs> a big ass brick. Brick is respected all over the world. In Rome, in London. Except the woman I was with got greedy. You know, I want that and give me some of that and I want that. Damn, baby, you think I made of bricks? <laughs> Get you a wheelbarrow, do your own shopping. <laughs> I have to work, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> That's what I do in Chicago, man. I'm from, I uh, work for my sister, you know, because her and uh, my brother-in-law, they own apartment buildings. I work for them. Me and three Mexican dudes, we work together. <laughs> We're not really together. I drop them off. That's my job. <laughs> you know, and I'm good, too. I can drop you right off. And <laughs> Dwayne, this is right where we need to be. Oh, yeah, this is precision dropping off. Don't fuck around. I love those dudes, man. Mexicans work hard, man. They work harder than everybody, don't they? If Mexicans had been slaves, slavery would have been over real quick. Because they'd have done 300 years' worth of work in about nine hours. <laughs> and still had time for a soccer game. <laughs> Those brothers work hard, man. And everything they do, they work hard. They be having like four and five jobs, man, support their family, even like the Mexican gangbangers, man, being like two and three gangs. <laughs> we gonna ride down on 83rd Street gang, Vato. Fuck, I'm in that gang too, S.A. <laughs> I got to shoot it myself, huh? <laughs> Hey, what's up with me? <laughs> oh, I got something else to say? <laughs> Carlos, what happened? Fuck, I never saw me coming. Because <laughs> I work, man, like on the south side of Chicago. It's, and it's not all bad, man, but it's some, some of it is bad, you know. I see, it's sad too, I see, I see now like a lot of young brothers who are like paralyzed, been shot, you know, gangs, wheelchairs, you know, and that's sad. But the funny part <laughs> is that you see a lot of these young brothers been shot in a wheelchair, still trying to be tough, still trying to gang bang. And hey, brother, you in a wheelchair now. You ain't scaring nobody no more. You know what I mean? When little kids are taking turns pushing your ass out in the traffic, <laughs> time to hang up the colors. They had a dude, man. This dude tried to rob somebody in a wheelchair. You know, that took a lot of guts. How are you gonna rob somebody in a wheelchair? It's easy to get caught. All you gotta do is shoot a tire out. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> Police show up nine hours later, you three and a half feet away from the scene of the crime. <laughs> Give it up, Laron. <laughs> you motherfuckers gonna have to catch me. <laughs> we'll just wait for him to get dizzy and fall over and throw him in the truck. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Feel good, and this is a mixed crowd. I like that, man. That's me. I'm pro integration. That's what kept me out the nation of Islam. I said, hey, what does it take to join up with you cats? They said, no pork and no white women. You brothers take care. <laughs> I'm gonna go on down the street, see what the Baptist is talking about. <laughs> Easy 
easier to quit pork than it is to quit white women. I'm gonna tell you, cause <laughs> pork don't call you at one in the morning, drunk and horny, wanting you to come over. You know what I mean? <laughs> cause if pork did, it'd be hard to quit that too. Hello, Dwayne. I want you to come over and grab me and lick me and bite me. Is this half a slab of ribs? <laughs> Why do you keep calling me? This is beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Showtime. No limits. And no check thus far, but still. <laughs> you can't have everything. Come on. I told my father I was doing this. He, don't, he didn't care. You know, it, it, you, uh, 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 uh. you know how it is like with, with fathers and sons, man, that weird kind of dynamic where, you know, your son, if you're a son, you can never, nothing you can ever do is ever right or ever enough. You know what I mean? Your, your, your grandmother's sick. I bet you didn't even call her, did you? Yeah, Dad, I called her. Yeah, you called her. But I bet you didn't even go over there and see her, did you? Yeah, Dad, I, I went to see her. Yeah, 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 you went to see her. <laughs> but I bet you didn't even re-wallpaper the kitchen while you was over there, did you? <laughs> no, Dad, I ain't do that. No, I know you didn't, because all you ever think about is yourself. You, 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 you still doing, you still doing that up. You still doing your little, your little comedy skit. Huh? You just still doing your little, your little comedy act. Huh? You still ain't making no money, right? You still doing your little clown show, right? Huh? You say, hey, why don't you do something like, why don't you put on like a big red nose and some, a big red shoe, do something like that. You do, Dad, I'm not Bozo the Clown. Bozo the Clown is making that money, brother. Bozo is making that money. Come on, Dad. I mean, I consider myself an artist, you know what I mean, to some degree. You know what I mean? I'm not going to get out there and prostitute my art. Prostitutes making that money, brother. <laughs> Hoes is making that money. <laughs> Drinking wine, if that's cool with you. I like it. It's medicinal. Talk about wine in the Bible, right? Right? Right. Two things they talk about in the Bible a lot are wine and shit that's hard to believe. <laughs> I think the wine came first. <laughs> and then thus, hence, ergo, all the shit that's hard to believe. You know how it is, you're drinking wine, you know, and a story will just get away from you. <laughs> right? Because I was right, like, walk down the street, I didn't know what was happening. I saw like a uh, beast with seven heads and a bush on fire. And it was talking to me. I'm drunk. <laughs> Yeah, brother, I think you better call it a night. Finish writing that book tomorrow. <laughs> I like it, though, man. I've been reading the Bible, man, trying to find out different things, you know, because, uh, you know, it's weird, because, like, before I ever read the Bible, I, I knew things happened that were tragic, and people got smoked and cursed, and there was lesions and locusts and stuff, but I thought that was later in the book. <laughs> you ever read the Bible? Shit starts going downhill about page three. <laughs> Only part I like is like Genesis, man. When, when you see uh, people used to live a long time, man, like uh, like uh, uh, Methuselah, right? Lived to be like 969 years old. People was glad when Methuselah died. <laughs> hey, brother, you know Methuselah died. Yeah, good. I mean, I love the brother and everything, but I was running out of birthday gift ideas. <laughs> Last 600 years, I've just been getting the nigga socks. <laughs> plus, plus, what if, see, this would be embarrassing, man, if you lived to be like 900 years old, you know, and what if everybody, what if you lived amongst like a group of like Hindus who believe in reincarnation, man? People dying, coming back, still running into your ass. <laughs> What, 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 Methuselah? What? Hey, uh, what's up? You, you don't even remember me, do you? 
man, it's about, about 30 lights. Man, I done died, came back, man. I was a tree one time. I came back as a yak. One time I came back as a lemon. I don't know what I did to deserve that. <laughs> But it's good this time. I died, I came back, man. I'm the king of a small island nation. I got wealth, I got women. Hey, but you know, man, enough about me, man. What you been doing with yourself for the last 950 years? <laughs> well, you know, man, you know, I'm, you know, still working at the post office, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> you know, taking some night classes, you know what I mean? Just, <laughs> trying to get myself together. I read that, man. I read this, man. You ever hear this? They said that uh, uh, Jesus may have had brothers and sisters. You ever hear that? You ever hear that? Never heard that? You know, if that's the truth, man, you know, that had to have been the worst luck on earth. You know, to have been born one of Jesus Christ's brothers or sisters. Because, you know, at that point, nothing you could ever do in life. You could go to college. You could get your master's degree. You could become manager at Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> Your brother is Jesus. You ain't impressing nobody. You come on one day, Mom, guess what? They made me, just made me manager down at Kentucky Fried Chicken. They said in a year, if I work hard, I could own my own franchise. You know your brother walked on water today. <laughs> Damn! He's always showing off. Can you imagine that, man? <laughs> being Jesus Christ's younger, bitter brother, Steve Christ. <laughs> you would just be pissed off all the time. Hey, there goes Steve Christ, man. You know that's Jesus' little brother, right? You know the, <laughs> Hey, what's going on, Steve? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> we just saw Jesus down the street at a house party. Yeah, let me guess, and he was healing the sick, right? He, hey, he's making the blind to see, right? He's running back and forth across the swimming pool, right? <laughs> right? And I guess just cause I'm just the manager down at Kentucky Fried Chicken, right? I just ain't shit, right? Right, right? Everybody always throwing Jesus in my face. You know, you, 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 your brother did this. You know, you, 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 your brother did that. You, your brother died so we all can live. Yeah, man, he's a carpenter. They got a good union. He can miss three days of work. <laughs> You know, you know, I was naive, man. I, when I went into comedy, man, I used to think that comedy was gonna like end like s hatred and I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> you know, I mean, cause comedy's never done that, man. You know what I mean? Cause, hey, cause, right, cause slaves used to entertain the slave master, right? right? And he would laugh, but after the show, he wouldn't be any less racist. He'd be like, Rastus, you were funny. I mean, you weren't give you your freedom funny. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. <laughs> Good, you know a cool thing came out of slavery though, man? Negro spirituals, you ever hear those? You don't blast those in the car? <laughs> K-105, the all Negro spiritual. Come on now, somebody got to have one of the 12-inch version of the Swing Low or something. <laughs> that was a brilliant song, man. Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Man. People don't know because it, it was written, man. Because people think it was like written with like ethereal aspirations toward God and stuff. But what it did was also was like it gave slaves a message like Swing Low, Sweet Chariot. Here come the Underground Railroad coming for to carry you home, you know, you know, or to Detroit or wherever you want to get dropped off. <laughs> I took a brilliant mind to write that, man, you know, to write that, that message, you know? Because you know it's probably a lot of slaves who tried to write spirituals who just weren't that good at concealing the message. They'd <laughs> be like, Joshua, do that one spiritual I hear you've been working on. All right, master. <laughs> oh, tonight at 8 30, gonna get some shovels and bash white folk in the head. <laughs> What time? 8.30. <laughs> Do what? Gonna kill white folk. <laughs> J. 
Joshua's musical career over. <laughs> hey, ain't that Joshua swinging from the tree? <laughs> yeah, I told him, just be content with working the field. But no, I was born to be a songwriter. <laughs> I like music, though, man, all kinds of music, you know? I like Negro spirituals. I like Negroes, so I mean? It goes hand in hand. Although I don't get that categorization, man. It's always that separation in, in America, right? It's always this category, that category, this or that. Why is this Negro spirituals, you know what I mean? Everybody got a spirit, you know what I mean? Or like honky tonk. That's kind of selfish. You know, why no nigga tonk or no kikey tonk or no chinky tonk? You know what I mean? Why is it all just honky tonk? You know what I mean? How come honkies get all the tonk? You know, that's what caused separation in the races. You see a white dude, you don't even like him. He don't even know why. Hey, how you doing? Oh, I'm all right, you tonk hogging bastard. <laughs> what the fuck did I do? Oh, Lord. I'm glad I did this, though, man. I'm trying to live my life a different way, right? Right, because they say you should live every day as if it's your last. I don't recommend that. <laughs> I tried that one time. It was a Wednesday. I woke up, quit my job, slapped a cop, and hit on my girlfriend's mother. <laughs> then Thursday rolled around. <laughs> Much to my chagrin. <laughs> Find out they ain't got no bumper stickers telling you what you should do the day after you lived the previous day like it was the last day of the rest of your life. <laughs> no bumper stickers for the consequences. <laughs> Trying to get myself together though, man. Trying to get right with one with the Lord. You know, start trying to cut out all the freaky stuff. You know, no more freaky stuff for me. Cause you always want to do freaky stuff till you do it. Then you realize you got to do more freaky stuff to get the excitement you got from the previous freaky stuff you did. The freakiness never ends, you know what I mean? First you having sex all over the house, then you have to start having sex in front of the house, you know what I mean? I saw a show, man, they had it in, um, about these people in this sex club and they would like dress up like clowns and have sex. Let me tell you something. If you gotta dress up like a clown to get an erection, it's time to find Jesus. <laughs> it's time, you know? And plus, I'm sure if you're a woman, you don't wanna be laying there in bed with a dude in a clown outfit talking about, is it good, baby? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Who wrote that cut? Who wrote yeah, 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 yeah? Probably some dude like in the 1800s, right? Probably wrote thousands of tunes, and then that was like his only hit, right? Then he'd be in the park doing a concert, you know, trying to do his later, more mature work, you know. Oh, the woman I love it. Do yeah, 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 yeah. That's the shit we came to hear. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. That brother's a genius. <laughs> All right. This is a different type of show than I expected, man. You know, and I'm glad, I hope it's a different type of show than you expected, you know, a, a bit. Cause you know what I mean? I mean, sometimes people see like, like, like uh, uh, black comedians and stuff and they think, oh man, it's gonna be like, I can't wait. He gonna be talking about everybody. He gonna be talking about that dude. Hey, talk about his head. Talk, talk about that brother right there. He can't walk, talk about him. 
I don't like to do that, man. And it's, it kills me when you see like black comedians who come on sometimes and and they come out like and they and they and they'll dog out the audience, but then they'll try to slip in some social commentary. <laughs> yeah, I, I, those brothers kill me. Be like ignorant with a message. <laughs> they come out like, God damn, I'm in this motherfucking house. Look at all these motherfuckers here. Look at my where all my niggas at. Look at all these motherfucking niggas right here. Look at this black ass bitch right here. This fucking black ass nasty stanky stank fucking nasty fucking stank nasty black fucking stank nasty black bitch right here. Fucking black and speaking of nasty fucking stank bitches. We got to love our sisters, cause they queens. They queens. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I know you know what I'm saying. This bald head black motherfucker right here. Bubble lip motherfucker. No job having mother. Government cheese receiving motherfucker. Right pussy eating motherfucker right here. And speaking of eating pussy, ladies and gentlemen, it's too many kids going to bed hungry at night. All right, thank you all. I'm done. <laughs>